Once upon a time, in a small village in Japan, there lived a young woman named Sally. She was known for her kind heart and peaceful presence, which drew people from near and far to seek her wisdom and guidance. Sally had a deep love for Zen teachings and sought enlightenment through meditation and contemplation. Every morning, she would wake up before Sunrise and sit in silent stillness under a large cherry blossom tree in her garden. One day, a troubled young man named Taro came to see Sele. He was overwhelmed by the pressures of life and had lost his way. Seeking solace and answers, he sought out Sele, hoping she could help him find peace. When Taro arrived at Sele's humble house, she greeted him with a warm smile and invited him to sit beside her under the cherry blossom tree. Taro had never experienced such tranquility before, and as he sat next to Sele, all his worries began to evaporate. Sele began to speak softly, sharing stories and parables to convey deep spiritual truths. Taro listened intently, absorbing her words like a sponge. Sele's love for Zen teachings was evident in the way she spoke, and her words touched Taro's heart. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months, as Taro kept returning to Sele for guidance and inspiration. With each visit, Sele's love for Zen and Taro grew stronger. One day, Taro asked Sele, How can I ever repay you for the peace and wisdom you have bestowed upon me? Sele smiled gently and said, You don't need to repay me, Taro. The greatest gift you can give me is to share the love and wisdom you have received with others. Taro was moved by her words and realized that the love and wisdom he had gained from Sele were meant to be shared. Inspired by her teachings, he became a spiritual guide himself, helping others find their own paths to enlightenment. Sele's love for Zen had not only transformed Taro's life, but it had also ignited a ripple effect of positive change in the world. Through her dedication and selflessness, she showed that love can be a powerful force for transformation and healing. And so, the story of Sele's love for Zen and her impact on Taro and others spread far and wide becoming a source of inspiration for generations to come. Story number 2 Once, in ancient Japan, there was a Zen master named Seho. Seho lived in a small monastery on the outskirts of a village. One day, a young woman from the village came to the monastery seeking guidance. She had been experiencing great sadness and asked Seho for help. She explained that she had lost her beloved in a tragic accident and could not find peace. Seho listened attentively to her story and understood the depth of her grief. He could see that she was tormented by her thoughts and emotions. In his wise and compassionate manner, Seho asked her a simple question, Have you ever truly loved? The young woman was taken aback by the question but replied, Yes, I loved my partner deeply. Seho nodded and continued, If you truly loved your partner, then you must continue to love and honor them in your heart. The woman looked puzzled and said, But he is no longer here. How can I continue to love him? Seho smiled gently and replied, Love does not depend on physical presence. True love transcends all barriers. It is an infinite source of light that resides within you. The woman remained silent, contemplating Seho's words. Gradually, she began to understand that the essence of love was not confined to external circumstances. It was a boundless energy that could be shared and cultivated even in the absence of the person she loved. 
Sehu taught the woman various Zen techniques to quiet her mind and connect with her inner self. He urged her to meditate daily and cultivate a sense of gratitude for the love she had experienced. Over time, the woman's grief began to recede and she found solace in honoring her partner's memory through acts of kindness and compassion. She realized that her love was not limited to him alone but could be extended to all beings. Years later, the woman returned to Sehu, expressing her deep gratitude. She had found peace and discovered a newfound ability to love unconditionally. Sehu's guidance had taught her the transformative power of love and the inner strength that lies within each of us. The story of Seho's love teaches us that love is not dependent on external circumstances. It is an eternal force that connects us all, and through cultivating love within ourselves, we can find solace and share that love with others.